In gene augmentation therapy, normal genes are introduced with the hope that they will augment or add to the production of the needed protein. In the first step of this method, white blood cells are collected from the patient and cultured. Next, they are infected with viruses carrying the therapeutic gene. These genetically altered cells are cultured until they have multiplied up to 1,000-fold. Finally, these genetically altered white blood cells are injected into the bloodstream, thereby reducing the immunity-inhibiting effects of the disease. Another approach is to use bacterial DNA rings called plasmids that have been altered by recombinant DNA techniques to carry the therapeutic gene or genes. In this example, the therapeutic gene is spliced into a plasmid. Next, the plasmids are allowed to reproduce. Finally, the plasmids containing the therapeutic gene are delivered to the lung tissues by means of a common inhaler. Gene augmentation attempts to add genetically altered cells to the body rather than to change existing body cells as in gene replacement therapy.